Zipping Along is a 1953 Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoon. This one was directed by Chuck Jones with a story by Michael Maltese. And I had a lot of fun with this one. But again, as I've mentioned with previous episodes or previous cartoons, there's still nothing about the Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons that stick out to me as being amazing. As I've mentioned before, there are various Bugs Bunny or Elmer Fudd or Porky Pig cartoons of which I am truly enamoured, and I've yet to have that sensation with Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner. Nevertheless, Zipping Along is a prime example of why these cartoons are good. Wile E. Coyote tries various different things to try and capture the Roadrunner. What I did think with this one, and I don't know if this is true, but I feel like the Roadrunner got much closer to Wile E. Coyote on this occasion. There's one where they're at a junction, I don't know if junction's necessarily the right word when it's something that's a bit more naturally occurring, but they're at a junction and the Roadrunner is zipping back and forth and um, he keeps obviously getting in Wile E. Coyote's way. And I thought that was very effectively done because the, the backgrounds are static while the Roadrunner is moving and it just, it felt right. There was something about the bit of animation that I thought actually these are the things that prove why this is good and why it's effective and why it's very well animated. Another one of my favourite bits involved, without spoiling it, I don't want to spoil what the coyote does, but it involved him looking very burnt and crisp. And I loved the way that was animated, especially his eyes. Look deep in his eyes at that moment. You will know which, which bit it is when you see it. Um, there's also an involvement of magnets, uh, which is very effective. I'd love to know where Wile E. Coyote gets these things from. Well, we know where he gets them from, but it's definitely a very interesting kind of factory. Again, it's another cartoon that I thought was okay. It was pretty good. I enjoyed watching it, but when I finished watching it, there wasn't anything about it that I thought was particularly amazing or worthy of, you know, high praise like there are elements. And I'm wondering if maybe it's because of the absence of dialogue. Not that a cartoon needs dialogue to be good, but for me, aside from quality, you know, the actual technical aspect of animation, I am very dialogue driven, I'm very narrative driven, rather than say films that rely heavily on special effects. So for me, I like good dialogue, sharp lines, witty humour, that kind of thing. And I wonder if that's why these specific cartoons are not talking to me directly on any, on something on any higher level. I, I don't quite mean it like that, but I wonder if that's why I've yet to find one that I thought was amazing. Whereas the cartoon where Wile E. Coyote meets Bugs Bunny and Wile E. Coyote is talking and annoyingly I can't remember the name of the episode or the cartoon, but that one I really adored. So maybe that's it. I don't know, but I'm still enjoying them. They're still good. They're still well animated. Maybe one day I'll find one that I absolutely adore. But for now, I enjoyed zipping along and if you haven't seen it, I recommend it.